dear students today we are going to discuss about temperature rise okay temperature rise or heating and cooling curves in the electrical machine right so let us consider the following uh, parameter to find the actual temperature rise this all the parameters we should consider that is the q is the power loss or heat developed watt per meter square or uh, joules per second similarly the weight of the machine part then specific heat then the cooling surface and the cooling coefficient lambda and uh, theta is the temperature rise theta m is the final steady state temperature during the process of heating right similarly the theta n the final steady state temperature in the process of cooling the theta i is the initial temperature then th is the heating time constant and tc is the cooling time constant okay normally the uh, total quantity of heat developed in the machine it should be equal to the total heat energy stored and the total heat dissipated in the machine right so the let us consider in the small time interval dt so if you are consider the heat developed in the machine the heat developed in the machine that is the q of q into dt it should be equal g into h d theta plus s into lambda dt and as well as d theta okay that was the equation one so if we are uh, consider as the maximum temperature rise that is the theta m uh, once the maximum temperature is reached in the machine during the heating process there is no further temperature rise that is why we can consider the theta it should be equal to theta m and t it should be equal to infinite right so from this equation one we can rearrange the previous expression q into dt it should be equal to s into lambda theta m into dt so the theta m is the maximum temperature or steady state temperature right so from this equation we can find it out easily the maximum temperature rise so both the side the dt is available so we can neglect it easily so the q it should be equal to s into lambda into theta m from that we obtained the maximum steady state temperature is theta m it should be equal to q divided by s into lambda that we can uh, assign the number for equation 2 right from the equation 1 again we can rearrange it uh, g into h d theta it should be equal to q into dt minus s into lambda d theta into dt so we can rearrange it so the common term that is the dt we can take it out easily so d theta by dt we can find it out so the d theta by dt it should be equal to q divided by sh minus s lambda by gh into d theta so if it is the options of cooling medium in the electrical machines the s it should be considered as zero if you are substituting s is zero in the previous expression that is equation three we will get d theta by dt it should be equal to q divided by gh okay similarly the q into d theta uh, dt it should be equal to gh into d theta that we can rearrange in the previous expression we can get q into small time interval dt it should be equal to gh into temperature small temperature rise d theta so if you are consider the total time as well as total temperature rise we can rearrange this equation like this the d, uh, q of q into t it should be equal to g h into theta so the t is the time taken to in um, time taken for the uh, heating process the theta is the temperature rise so the t it should be equal to t h because we are uh, considering as the temperature rise that is the heat developed no so the t we can assume like t it should be equal to t h time taken to reach the maximum operating temperature theta m so we can rearrange the previous expression like this q into th it should be equal to at the time of th the temperature also maximum so we can put theta m so substitute the theta m value in the equation 2 from the equation 2 we have uh, obtained the value of theta m it should be equal to q divided by s into lambda so that you can substitute in this expression so we can find it easily that th th it should be equal gh into q divided by s lambda it will come actually the both the side the q it is getting cancelled so t gh divided by s lambda that we can put the equation 4 from the equation 3 we, we know d theta by dt it should be equal to q divided by gh minus 
S lambda in divided by GH into d theta. So this is the actual three equation three. From this we can find it out T. So the because we need to find it out the actual temperature rise no. So that is why we need to find it out T. So the d t it should be equal. We can rearrange this expression. From this expression we can obtain like this d t it should be equal to d theta divided by g divided by g h. Sorry, q divided by g h minus s lambda divided by g h into d theta will come. That you can give it a equation five, right? So we can substitute the values. We can um, uh, solving that uh, differential equation form. This is actually looking like differential equation form. We can solve that. So after that, we can get the expression like that is that t should be equal to minus g h divided by s lambda into log of e uh, q divided by g h minus s lambda by g h into d theta plus k. That is the constant that you can put the equation six. So while you are applying the boundary condition at the time of t equal to zero, that is the time is zero. That uh, theta also it should be equal to the initial temperature. Now, so we can put it as theta equal to theta i. To apply this boundary condition in the equation three previous expression, we will get uh, easily the k value. Okay, you can put the equation. Uh, um, the, we can substitute the value of t as well as the theta equal to theta i in the expression six. We will get. Uh, k value. Okay, here the th is the heating time constant. We can replace easily because gh divided by s lambda is the th. So we are replaced. Huh? Then we can find it out easily the k value. So the k value we can put the equation for seven. The obtained k value you should substitute in the previous expression to obtain the exact temperature rise. So we can substitute it. The two t equal to minus t. The log of the previous expression you can write like that. Similarly, the k value you substituted in this expression. Uh, then here you can see that th is the common term that you can take it outside. Then remaining the logarithmic minus sign is coming now. So log add uh, log subtraction formula we can use it. Log subtraction formula you can use it and find the expression like this. The t it should be equal to t minus th log of this is same expressions from which is we obtained from the previous expression. So you can see this expression both here the numerator and denominator this value is same so that we can neglect it and finally the we can simplify the expression like that minus th log of q minus s lambda theta divided by q, q minus s lambda theta i right. So we can take it out because we need to simplify this expression no though so we can um, both the numerator and denominator we can divide it by s lambda. So the q divided by s lambda minus theta divided by uh, similarly q divided by s lambda minus theta i. So we know that q divided by s lambda that is the q divided by s lambda that is the theta m. So we can replace that expressions like this minus theta because here the, the minus th is there now that you can take it in LH side. So minus minus t divided by th it should be equal to minus t divided by th it should be equal to log of e so the same expression is repeated that is the equation 8 from the equation 8 we can uh, take it uh, uh, the simplification process like uh, we are taking the logarithmic uh, we are need to eliminate the logarithmic term to obtain the actual temperature rise now so you can um, uh, take it both the side so here the exponential term we are added you know, e Power minus t divided by th, it should be equal. The log is log and e log both are getting cancelled. So finally, theta m minus theta divided by theta m minus theta i we, uh, we obtained. So from that, we can find it out theta easily, like this expression. You can follow it, theta minus theta, theta m minus theta, it should be equal to the theta m minus theta i, it can be multiplied with the numerator. So finally, it's getting eliminated. The, the negative sign is getting. Uh, modified then the theta it should be equal to theta m minus theta m into e4 minus t divided by th plus theta e into e4 minus t divided by th. So if you are consider uh, this expression in the theta i know the theta i is was the initial temperature. The any machines while you are starting the initial condition the temperature rise that is the initial temperature now that was the zero. So we can neglect this expression. So finally we can achieve 
the actual temperature rise the theta it should be equal to theta m 1 minus e4 minus t divided by th that is the actual temperature rise during the heating process so that is from this curve we can uh, from this expression we can obtain the curve like that so at the time of starting the initial temperature is zero no so that is the theta i so here time also zero both it is zero so while after uh, applying any of application the particular machine the heat is start rising to reach the maximum temperature so that is the theta m right so that is the final steady state temperature so after that if you are keep on um, operating the machine the temperature it should be the constant like this okay so after uh, the, uh, this is the heating process if you are shutdowning or if you are removed the load in the particular machine or you are stop operating the machine the machine it is started for the cooling process so that is the from the steady state temperature is temperature is gradually reducing to reach zero that is the cooling time so that is the time taken to cool the machine that is the cooling time constant so this is the time taken to heating process that is the heating time constant so the total time operating time or duty factor t it should be equal to th plus tc right so here we are considered as the temperature rise then here we are considered as the time taken to time taken for particular operations right this is the actual heating and cooling process of the particular machine so i hope you all understand thank you